Hi everyone. I need to preface this video with something is going on today. I am so not feeling well. It came on suddenly and generally when that happens I know it's frequency related. But since last night and all day today the buzzing is incredibly loud. I've had periodic um, earaches. It's either one ear or the other or my hearing is kind of closed off in one ear or the other and <sighs> a dizziness and brain stuff and vision stuff that lasted well it's still kind of going on but it lasted longer than it ever has. I'm talking about two hours that it just didn't let up and I'm still feeling like I just I have like I'm sick but at the same time I know I'm not. Alright. I've never seen this on National Mosaic and I needed to post it now. What's going on in Texas? Around uh, Fort Worth, Dallas area? What's going on in Texas? What is this? And I don't have the energy to do the research to find out what does this mean? Never before have I seen these colors except if you see a storm and then you'll see little yellow and maybe some red but nothing like this so I needed to bring it to your attention I see the ultra low frequencies being shot off right here you can see the defined line but since last night uh, this area has an awful lot of activity going through it. Oklahoma Oklahoma and Texas had earthquakes today but Oklahoma you get them regularly now but the ultra low frequencies that are set off is really remarkable and it has this almost a shredded appearance all over. And I can see the ultra low frequencies being set off right there. Now, you can see how squared off this is. This is not natural and I'll say it again, you know, uh, look I don't like getting humiliated by people who call me crazy. and. But I have done the research and I know that they can use these frequencies to control populations within regions. They can target individuals. And when you see all of these uh, ultra low frequencies, the radar being set off then you know that something is going on. So you can see them right here, which is, what is this? Is it, oh God, I don't even know. This is Kansas, Arkansas. My brain is not working. Look at how shredded off all of this is. Now somebody might leave a comment saying, oh, it's the radar picking up what? Birds or insects all over this area? No, something's going on. Look at this. And these ultra low frequencies are intersecting, which is really dangerous. How are you guys feeling in this area? 
in uh, Central America. Well, I will tell you that, again, it is the Harknex Rad Rings down here off the coast of, well, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Florida. Are you guys having very bad storms? And the next round harp rings earlier today were very pronounced right in this area. And I'll get that video. But I'm getting a little bit tired of these ultra low frequencies being set off right into my area. Now, I live in Anderson. And it's like, and this started a couple of months ago, Greer, South Carolina. It's almost nonstop. But they shoot right into Anderson. And let me get that video now. Maybe I. All right, this is last night. Whoa, Oklahoma, Jesus. Look at this. Okay. Well. And at your neighboring states, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, bad, bad, very powerful ultra-low frequencies. And this has an effect on all life. All life is affected by these frequencies. You see the next red harboring. I gotta go back to it, but Little Rock. Okay, so what did I? Sorry for saying that was Arkansas. It was so not Arkansas. Um, the ultra low frequencies have been pretty powerful in from Houston on up to Dallas for like two weeks. These, this is uh, coming out of Louisiana into Texas. Look guys, we are at war. This is no game, it's no joke. Yeah, I'm losing my subscriber friend support with so many people who are ill, bedridden, in so much pain, they can't even talk or or function. Well, I'm kind of in the same category. But these are very, very intense. San Antonio, Corpus Christi. And some beam shooting off maybe out of south of Houston. And let me get to South Carolina. Career South Carolina. I got on the National Mosaic last night because I knew something was up. How I was feeling, what was... These are more powerful frequencies coming out of Greer. But the frequencies coming out, it's like both frequencies were hitting um, Anderson. This is Knoxville. But did I... Did I go to I didn't zero in on look at this. Look at these harp next red rings. Something's going on. And we have these manufactured thunderstorms all the time with these harp next red rings intersecting. 
the flash flooding continues. Bad flooding in Massachusetts, Worcester, cars underwater. Um, but I did, I believe I did. Be patient, please. Okay. Yeah. You can see that this is such a frequency mess that you're looking at. Yeah, these ultra low frequencies are also going right into Anderson, right here. And the frequencies from Greer, South Carolina, going into Anderson at the same time. If you're not affected by these frequencies, well, let me rephrase that. If you can't feel the effects of these frequencies, you're lucky. You're lucky. That's all I can say. You're lucky. But eventually, everybody crosses the line. And again, there's an awful lot of people who are suffering uh, disease, illness, syndrome, chronic physical pain, or whatever it is, and they'll never attribute it to these frequencies. Even if you tell them, they won't. You know, uh, they won't give up. Their convenience of having Wi-Fi and and they just love this tech world. So, uh, how are you guys feeling in these areas? In Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Arkansas, um, and Jesus, this is pretty bad. <laughs> it's really bad, guys. It's like they blanket, especially the eastern half of the country with these ultra low frequencies every night, but I've never seen it quite this bad. You know, it's, are they ramping them up? Perhaps they are. So, this is live, and look how flatlined that storm is which is the signature of frequency frequencies being used. You can see how these bands of blue circle, which I also never saw, but I'm now seeing them frequently all over. But Texas, what is going on in Texas? Um, what is going on in Oklahoma? And Kansas. Or is this Kansas? I've lost it. No. Kansas, Nebraska. Am I right? South Dakota, North Dakota. All right. And what's happening, Minot, North Dakota, ma'am, you also always have your ultra low frequencies being set off. But these storms, and you can see the frequencies all through them. This is manufactured weather, which will only continue because people just will not do the research to find out that, yeah, they are using weather as a weapon. And, but the flash floods, Arizona, Massachusetts, um, uh, 
Iowa still, again, I should say, and other places, and I, my brain is just not, not working. So, I'm going to end with this, you know, it's not a joke, it's, it's very serious what is taking place. And when you render an individual incapacitated, which these frequencies can do, when more and more of us become incapacitated, you know that there's no way out of this war. And it's also just good to know that for all, all of you who are feeling okay and you're detoxing and you're doing all of that kind of stuff, and I'm talking to the ones who have judged others for how they feel, we need to understand that every individual is different, but we also need to understand that there are areas that are getting so bombarded with frequencies that it doesn't matter what they do. They just can't get out from under. So just please keep that in mind. And there are areas that are really not that bombarded. And so your recovery process or how you maintain your health, you've got an easier job than an awful lot of people. But what's going on in Texas? Anybody who knows what that might be, because I did go to IntelliCast and they just took off the, did you see the red dot there? That was an earthquake right here. Um, but I see no uh, precipitation. None. Here's your earthquake, 2.5. Uh, southwest of Wilson, Oklahoma. Also, another symptom, my eyes. Uh, rapidly deteriorating in terms of vision and hurting. Sometimes I, it feels like there's little needles going into it. Very dry. Sting. Uh, so I, I'm saying that because I got the buzzing. I, I just I used to be able to just forget about it. If I would get involved I could just it wouldn't be constantly there. Now it is constantly there and it just drives me up the wall. Wall. So, as you can see, on the National Mosaic, an awful lot of activity going on right up here in Central America and Texas, but nothing on IntelliCast. Hardly anything on except for that storm, which is on right over here. So that's here. But it looks like clear days in Dallas and Oklahoma, except for the corner right here. But so, you know, look, to everyone who's really struggling, I am so sorry because I know what it feels like and it is so not fun. And there are so many people who have left comments and I'm going to be posting a video. I am really not capable of keeping up with anything anymore. So there are so many comments and I've captured them and saved them and wanted to do videos just addressing them because talking is much easier than writing and I'm not, you know, I'm not kidding when I say just even a, a sentence or two sentences in response to a comment. I don't know what is going on with me, but I just can't. I can't.
and it's been very, very frustrating, but it does not seem to be getting any better. And it's been like this for a very, very long time. And every day I go, okay, you're going to snap out of it. You're going to snap out of it. And I'm not snapping out of it. So to all of you who have left comments about not feeling well, yeah, I, I don't bullshit when I say that when I read your comments, I don't read them you know, without feeling, or it's like, oh, they're just words. I, and it's funny because, you know, the cyber world drives me nuts. I'm not a cyber world person, and I, I need real life. But I know that you are a person who's writing these comments, and my heart goes out to you because this is no way that any of us should be living life and frankly I wish that we did have a conventional war instead of this this war with this technology first of all we would know there would be there was a war bombs would be dropping guns would be firing. This war, it's left everybody isolated. It's left an awful lot of people, I believe, with their minds controlled. And it's, you know, the how people are behaving, it's all just ramped up. People don't care about anything. These are beams, laser beams, by the way, being shot off here. Um, and to just endlessly feel like hell. <laughs> well, it's a great war for really sick, malignant, narcissistic psychopaths who just want to cause a lot of suffering. And to those who say, well, you shouldn't be giving them what they want. You know what? That kind of thinking, you're still allowing the malignant narcissist to control you. I speak my mind. If they get off on my suffering, well, so be it. I can't do anything about that. But I don't care about that. And I don't live my life to either... Um, upset or make happy the malignant narcissist so you know and anybody who gets you know all happy and joyful that somebody's suffering these are very very unbelievably sick twisted people and yeah unfortunately we have a lot of them and then we have a lot more who just don't care, <laughs> you know, and then we have a few who have retained their humanity. And unfortunately, those few are kind of going through hell, having to live this time, which is so unprecedented. I hope everybody's doing well. I really would love it if everybody is just doing well and you feel great and you are you know it's capable of finding joy having fun doing all those things but I have heard from an awful lot of subscribers and that's not their life anymore it's just not. And there's no turning back for them. I never, ever, I never, ever believed that life could be like this. I, I, I you know, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't even imagine that we would be living what we're living and have lived for so many years. Never. But I have imagined. 
but I, I'm not evil. So my mind doesn't operate that way. Let me know how you're feeling, guys.